You jumped uh -oh. over a gigantic <laughs> hair dryer. Could you float in the air? Simply asking, should I ride convection like it's an amusement park? No. Even in nuclear plants where we deal with steam jets, powerful enough to spin turbines the size of houses, we don't levitate engineers on it. That was sometimes the intern thing. Normal hair dryer pushes out enough air to make a ping pong ball float. Yep. That's because the ball is very light and the airflow creates a stabilizing vortex. It's a bit like trying to hold a control rod just barely in the core. It could theoretically have suspended criticality, but you're one sneeze away from chaos. To lift you, it would need to be as powerful as a jet engine, blasting wow. scorching air at hundreds of degrees. That's part of it. You'd need a massive thrust, essentially a turbofan. But it's not just the heat, it's going to be mass flow rate times velocity. The giant hair dryer is going to cook you, but the real reason why what's left of you isn't going to float is because it's not aerodynamic. Force would slam your body with so much pressure, it could break bones and damage your lungs Ooh. from the inside. And in just a moment, the intense heat- Yeah, potentially, though hopefully this knocks you out. Burn you up instantly. So 600 degrees Celsius will char you within seconds, but full incineration will take longer than that. Not sure if that makes you feel any better, though. 